Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about ridge lines. We all know about isoquant curve. Some area of isoquant curve is efficient region, but some area of isoquant curve is not efficient region. Some area of isoquant curve is efficient region, but some area of isoquant curve is not efficient region. Here we have one isoquant curve and this isoquant curve give us 100 unit of output. And here we have two point A and B. Only area between A and B is efficient region. But if you go beyond this A point or beyond this B point, then we don't have any efficient region. But how? Suppose we do production at this A point, then we need OL labor and OK capital. But if you go beyond this A point, then same amount of output, you need more labor. That's why area beyond this A point is not efficient region. Similar, if you do output at this B point, then you need OL1 labor and OK capital. But if you go beyond this B point, then same amount of output, you need more capital. That's why area beyond this B point is not efficient region. Only area between A and B point is efficient region. Now, what do you mean by ridge lines? Ridge lines are boundaries on isoquant map which clearly tell us this is efficient region and this is not efficient region. Uh, ridge lines are boundaries on isoquant map which clearly tell us this is efficient region or you can say that this is economic region and this is not economic region. So here we have isoquant map. As we know isoquant map consists of so many isoquant curves. Here we have so many isoquant curves IQ, IQ1 and IQ2 and this one is efficient region but this one and this one is not efficient region. This one is efficient region or you can say that this one is economic region but this one and this one is not efficient region. Here we have two ridge lines. This is upper ridge line, this is lower ridge lines and these ridge lines are clearly telling which one is efficient region and which one is not efficient region. So we can say that ridge lines are boundaries of isoquant which separately define which one is efficient region and which one is not efficient region. So this is our lower ridge line and this is our upper ridge line. Marginal product of labor is zero in lower ridge line. That means that B, D and E point marginal product of labor is zero. Marginal product of labor is zero. That means if we apply more labor, then our output will not increase, but our cost can increase. Similar at upper ridge line at this A, C and E point, marginal product of capital is zero. Marginal product of labor is zero in lower ridge line and marginal product of capital is zero in upper ridge line. Now we will see marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital in lower ridge line. Marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to MPL over MPK. At a lower ridge line, MPL is a 0. So, 0 over MPK is equal to 0. So, we can say that at lower ridge line, MRTS is equal to 0. Now, we will see MRTS can upper ridge line. At upper ridge line, marginal product of capital is 0. MPL over 0 become equal to infinity. So, we can say that at upper ridge line, MRTS is infinity, but at lower ridge line, MRTS is 0. So, this is all about ridge line. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.